Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over some daily money methods that help you keep raising your net worth and advancing further into the game. Before we get into today's video, be sure to subscribe as we are slowly approaching 10,000 subscribers. Also, it only takes a small amount of your time and you can always change your mind later. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into today's video. The first thing we're going to get into is minions. Now you want to make sure that you're using and investing in a pretty decent minion setup. Either for money, skill experience, if you want to max out a collection, etc. You just want to have a good setup of these always down, and you want to be using the buffs that they need. So for my example, I'm using melon minions because I really want the farming skill experience that I can get from it. They also make a decent amount of money. It's pretty comparable to something like a snow minion or a clay minion or something like that. And it also makes some mining XP, which doesn't really matter because I got mining 60 recently. But yeah, the main goal of this is farming experience. So I've got the farming crystal, I've got them in a good pattern, and then I've also got my rabbit pet. So you just want to make sure you have a good setup of these. Clay minions are decent. Snow minions are probably the best for most players. as They're pretty affordable. They give a lot of mining XP, which really helps, and they make a decent amount of money. So bottom line, just always have a good minion setup just down and ready to make you some passive income or whatever items or collection experience or skill experience you really need. It might also be in your interest to, you know, get like a level 100 rabbit, for example, get an alt, which can AFK for you and boost your minions even further. I know for melon minions, it's really, really useful because while the island server is loaded, melon minions have like double the action time because the stems will grow the plants and then the minions just have to break. So it's two times faster if your island is loaded. You just have to be aware of the full meta of whatever minion you're using and use everything to its advantage. You're gonna wanna use a super compactor, diamond spreading, budge hopper doesn't really matter, but you are going to wanna use a decent type of fuel, whether it's lava or hyper catalysts or whatever you can afford. The next strategy is something that not a lot of people know of, but it is very, very easy to do and very, very useful. So at the current time, a booster cookie is currently, uh, what, 1.75 mil if you do a buy order, and that's quite a lot of coins. However, it definitely is worth it for those skill experience buffs, magic find, all of these buffs, right? They're all worth it. But if you are only doing it for pure money, then they can actually make themselves back as well. So it's really determined by your fame rank. I have a really, really high fame rank because I'm fortunate enough to have been donated a ton of gems and those just level fame like crazy. But I'm pretty sure that booster cookies are profit as long as you have more than 7,000 bits per cookie. And you can just get that over time from, you know, getting bits because the bits can level up your fame as well as the gems, just a lot slower. However, once you get to a certain point, whether it's 7,000 bits or maybe a little bit more, you can start profiting with these very, very easily. Now, the two best items currently, or maybe three, I think Builder's Wand is fine, but the other two are quite a bit better. So we have the Auto Pet Pack and Kismet Feathers. Now, Auto Pet, it's good, but it varies a lot because, I don't know, man, it's really, really weird. Like, Kismet Feathers, most of the time, are better. But sometimes, Kismet Feathers will be extremely oversaturated, and then it's better to do Auto Pet. But for the most part, Kismet Feathers are going to be the best, as people are going to be buying them quick, 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 because people need tons of them while they're doing dungeons. So, for the most part, I'd say do Kismet Feather. Another thing that you can do daily is the Experimentation Table. Now, this is very, very strong, very, very powerful, and you should definitely take advantage of it. So, using a solver, recommended not forced i mean you could just do this normally but the solver does make this a lot lot easier you just want to use the enchanting level that you already have to do as many of these games maybe you haven't unlocked them yet that's okay just do the highest tier that you can use and just do these every day now the free one of course do it the second one probably refill i say you refill up until the last one for the most part the last one is not going to be profit only do the last one if you really want the enchanting experience and you're going for level 60. You can get titanics from these, you can get the rare chance for the good good books that you can sell for profit, and it's really just pretty easy to do and very accessible. Now another thing you can do is you can get any pet of your choice, throw a all skills experience boost on it, but yeah, so the normal one is like 50k for merchant, but the better one is, oh it's about 5 mil, so I'd say probably don't do that. 
but just throw on an all skills boost on any pet that you want to level up and then just just keep doing this every day you can make a lot of money from leveling pets now the last section of today's video requires a lot more effort but it is still something that you can keep doing daily and these are the manual grinding so really really good method farming now farming is very 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 strong for all members of any section of the game you really just have to find what is good for you now a rabbit pet is going to be good if you want skill experience but for the most part an elephant is going to be the way to go as it grants a ton of farming fortune now farming fortune is one of the new stats recently where they turned the percent extra into like an actual visible number that you can go ahead and look at so basically every farming fortune another percentage for a chance to get more drops now the best one you're going to want to use for the long run cane all right sugar cane because you want to level up your farming skill for even more farming fortune it's really just good to get better skills, and it's also a really decent amount of money. Nether Wart could be a good option, but it gives alchemy experience, no farming at all, which means if you're farming with your elephant pet or something you want to try to level up to 100, you're not going to be getting nearly as much experience for that, but it still is pretty decent at money. Now, carrots, quite the new meta. Now, carrots have been changed recently along with wheat and potatoes and some other things, to give quite a lot more experience than they used to. The base used to be one for all these crops and now it's four, and that even increases with the percentage multipliers because it is just a bigger base number. The only issue with carrots is that you need golden nuggets with regular vanilla golden carrots to craft the super enchanted form, and you cannot put that in your personal compactor. However, it still is a very strong farm and you might wanna look into it. Now, of course, for these farms, you're going to want to be using the hoe or tool or whatever from the Jacobs event. Personally, I've got a few of them. Most important is my cane hoe. It's got 11.2 mil counter. Pretty bad, but it does have cultivating 7, which is pretty strong. It is the max rarity, and it's recommed. Get that turbo cane or whatever turbo book you want. And farming is going to be quite the strong method. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the daily profits that you can keep making and enjoy the rest of your day.